just focus on digital art. But once in a while, I'll like work on a painting and or a lino cut print. Um, I try to like focus with like skulls and stuff like that, death related stuff or fan art. How would you imagine the end product or generate imagery? The, how about that one since it's right there? Okay, um, so I did that in like memory of a YouTube channel that was called Unis Honest, which means one year in Latin. And their whole thing was to upload videos every day until the very end of the year. And they have this quote they use often called Memento Mori, which means remember death in Latin. And I personally hold that close to me. Something I love. So one, so you had the idea to commemorate that YouTube. Where did the imagery come from? Is it something that was in their videos or? Yep, so their logo was based on two skulls and a hourglass, one skull on the top, one on the bottom, half black, half white. And I just really liked how it looked, so I took inspiration. But you made it with just one. How did you make decide to make those changes? Um, I decided that since like the YouTube channel died and I don't often see them together in videos anymore, so I decided to like symbolize that. Mm -hmm. And for a while you were very interested in the kind of still life called Vanitas, which they used to do to remind people of the that life is fleeting, so often there'd be a skull. So that kind of like uh, struck a chord with you. Yeah, so it's just, like I said, something that I hold close to me to remember one day you're going to die, live your life to the fullest. Right. How do you plan this project? At what point has it become more focused? Um, it was kind of more on the Unis Honest theme. That's when I decided that I really liked stuff like that, so. So this one in particular, did you start by making little doodles or sketches? Um, or did it just kind of came to you like full-fledged? It came to me full-fledged. I decided I wanted to dedicate my time to it. So you drew, did you draw it out first or did you draw it right on the block like that? I did a sketch first, but I decided I liked how it looked, so I just went for a full project. So you just straight up transferred your sketch to the block? Yep. What provisions and refinements needed to be done throughout the production of this artwork? Um, so throughout the artwork, I often accident so when you're carving my hand slipped so I often had to fix some points of that but I feel like I made it work and mm -hmm. yeah you did in what ways will it be presented or shared um I want to plan on making an Instagram account to dedicate showing my work to and I want to make my theme for that account based on death, remembering that you die, fulfill your life, stuff like that. So um, you're gonna, will you, now you did have a piece accepted in Scholastics last year, do you think you'll enter some of these in for next year? Um, I might. I think I will. There's a couple pieces I have in mind that I really like. So, mm -hmm. so this was the one that got me a Scholastics Award my freshman year, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, I got a honorable mention. And then I have this one here. It's fan art of Legend of Zelda Link. I like the game a lot, so. And are up there too. And then the first week of January, everyone was celebrating because most people have gone 
the full two years without catching COVID, and I started to celebrate, and then I caught COVID. So I made this one dedicated to how, um, like, isolated I felt and how I felt like I was, wasn't really involved in much and how alone I was. So, okay. yeah. so tell us about the Wendigo painting. So the Wendigo is a mystical creature and throughout my early childhood, I often went on YouTube and watched videos about that, like creepypastas, mystical creatures, stuff like that. So I decided I wanted to de dedicate my time to make a project to the Wendigo because that one's my favorite. I like the skulls and stuff like that. So. So for that project, you had to like make your own grays and... Yeah. Yeah. And then you kind of finished it off with metallic gel marker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it adds more to it. Yeah, like it's shining in the moonlight. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So um, what kind of feedback have you gotten on your work? I get a lot of compliments. People in my class watch the process and they'll give me tips and give me positive feedback. So your digital stuff, have you shared any of that online yet? Um, not yet. Mm, I bet you'll get feedback. Yeah. What's next for you as an artist? Um, for a while I did plan on doing graphic design throughout middle school and then I decided to do something else. But I am once again changing my mind, and I may try to become a tattoo artist once I graduate. Very interesting. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing your work. Yeah, thank you.